Wowzers! Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Blitzway 5 Pro Studio Inspector Gadget! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So I went in on the uh, deluxe version of this set. It's a set of uh, four figures, um, two of them are packed together. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the complete presentation of how this deluxe version is uh, is packaged. You can see nice big box here. You get Inspector Gadget, Inspector Gadgets, Inspector Gadget logo up there. Let's wave, Fight Pro Studio, Mega Hero, all that good stuff. Inspector Gadget on the back. Your obligatory product shots. Inspector Gadget. Five Pro Studio Deluxe version on the bottom. Five Pro Studio Deluxe version. We'll go to the back again just so you can get a better look there at the obligatory product shots, things and stuff, stuff and things, the figures that are included. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And when you open up the box, you can see all the figures packed in here nicely. You get the figures themselves and this box is um, all of the display bases and other accoutrement, other accessories, little bonus accessories and whatnot. But for now, we'll actually take out uh, Gadget's box since he's who we're starting off with. Let me just put all of this off to the side and we'll take a look at Gadget's box. So here is the box for Inspector Gadget. You can see a little window Box right there, the tray where the figure sits, the Spectre Gadget, nice little product shot there, Five Pro Studio, bloody bloody bloody. You can see gadgets, that's the one in the box. Gadgets and gadgets on the bottom again. Warning, don't eat anything in the box. Just don't eat anything in the box. And your obligatory product shots. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Inspector Gadget. And uh, yeah, I loved Inspector Gadget back in the day, watched it religiously. And uh, when this set went up for pre-order, I, I had to jump on it. I just had to because I love me some Inspector Gadget. This is just all the nostalgia buttons. Um, now I will say right now, um, Gadget himself is the best figure of this set. The rest of them, eh, not really, but Gadget is the one that shines and he should be because he's the star of the show. So here is Inspector Gadget. Let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his giant chin, but at the rest of his head. There is his head. Oh, he just got that, that, just that long, long face, that big, big nose. But that is Gadget, all right. That is Inspector Gadget. You can see some nice, nice crisp paint work there on the eyes. And the hair is crazy hair. Very nicely sculpted. You know, it looks very, looks very cartoony, as it should. Nicely done. And got his trench coat here. Got the blue tie. And the trench coat done in gray. These little buttons done in a lighter gray. His brown gloves. And the blue pants. You can see his socks there. And his shoes. And move up the back. There you have the gadget booty. Go, go, gadget booty. But, yeah. Very cool looking figure. Very faithful to the cartoon. I love it. I love it. Now, articulation wise, um, the head is on two joints. You have a ball joint at the base of the neck and a ball joint that goes up into his head. So you have a lot of wiggly waggly. This lot, he can just, he, he, he can do that, which is crazy. He can just totally tilt his head. <laughs> Very unnatural. That, you'll get a cramp after a while doing that, but he can do it. He can look all the way up, do total squirrel. He can do it. He can look down. Head can do a full 360, so lots of movement there in the head. Now the arms can rotate, can do a full 360. They can move in and out. Uh, the shoulders are on a very like soft ratchet. You can feel the, the thoops as you move the arm in and out. Um, the the, the, the shoulder itself at the base is, it feels like it's on a little bit of a ball joint, so you have a little bit of wiggly waggly there. Um, you have rotation at the elbow itself, and you have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. 
And again, you have that very like soft ratchet in there. You can just feel a little thoop, thoop, thoop. You can feel all those little thoops. Um, the rest are on a ball joint. So you got Wiggly Waggly, can rotate. Um, his waist is on a ball joint. You have your Wiggly Waggly rotation. You can crunch a little bit, arch a little bit. On uh, the bottom of his trench coat is rubber. So this will move out of the way for the most part, but legs can go forward about that far back, only about that far. Outward, yeah, you're not gonna get too far, but a little bit. Um, you do have thigh rotation in there. It's pretty much up in the hip. So you do get rotation in there. Uh, you get 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet. They can rotate, so they can move up, down a little bit, and you get a little bit of ankle tiltage. So now let's run through the accessories and you get a lot of stuff with this figure. I don't even know where to start really. Where do I start? Uh, okay, we'll start off with the optional hands. So the hands are on him right now. We're just the closed fists, but you do also get a pair of holding things hands for his various gadgets and accoutrements. So you get two holding things hands. You get a pointing hand. You also get another hand here for holding accessories with a slightly different grip there. Um, you get his uh, Go Go Gadget screwdriver hand. You can see he's done a nice silver. You get that. And you also get his Go Go Gadget phone hand, <laughs> which I love this. You can see. Got some nice little detail going on there in the thumb. Also over there, little antenna. <laughs> and the hands are very easy to swap. You just pull them right off, it's just on a peg. And you just plug the hand in. And just get them into position. And there you go, you can be uh, making a phone call there. On this gadget phone, there we go. I'll just leave them like that for now. So there you have that. But we're not done yet. No, no, we're not done yet. You get a flashlight, done in red, button there, done in silver, and yellow right there for the light itself. So you get his flashlight. Um, you also get his badge, so done in black with the silver, and this is just made of rubber, it's bendy. So you got that going on. Uh, you also get a magnifying glass, which actually does work. It actually has magnification to it. We'll use the badge here, but you can see like you actually, it actually has magnification. It's an actual working magnifying glass. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> they could have just put a piece of clear plastic in there, but no, they actually wanted it to work as a real magnifying glass. So that's cool. It's a handle done in black, some really nice silver. Very nice paintwork on these accessories. And what else? There's still more, we're not done yet. We also get some optional faces. Now the one that's on him right now, you can see he just has a little, just has a little smirk on him. But you do also get a face with just more of a uh, serious expression. And you also get a smiling face. Get very nicely done. And you also get an extra pair of, uh, of eyes here. And the eyes are swappable. You can swap the eyes on all the faces. You just kind of get under here and just make sure you don't, you know, scratch up the paint on the eyes themselves here. But you just pop them. Ah, that's kind of disturbing. But ah, it's even more disturbing when you drop it. But you can plug these eyes in. And just tab in. So you can have them looking in any direction. You can have them looking down, looking to the left, looking to the right. However you want them to look, you can swap these eyes between all of the faces. So that's totally up to you. What you want to do there, you can just, ah, that's disturbing. Why did I do that? Why did I do that once? I'm going to do it again, though. I'm going to do, ah, okay, let's, let's do that. Hey, 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 I don't know. <laughs> all things you can do if you want to do it. But swapping out the face is pretty simple. You just basically kind of grab behind his ears here and just kind of give it a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Pretty snug, but just give it a little wiggle there and your face pops right off. Ah, that still it doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better. Again, you can pop these eyes off too. Again, all the eyes are removable. Um, actually, you know what? I'll take these eyes and put them on the smiling face. 
There we go. Let me just slide this face back on. You have to give him his face back. Gadget needs his face back. There we go. There we go. Now he's having a, uh, a happy conversation. He's having a happy phone conversation, and that's always good. That's always perfect. And of course, he does have some other gadgets. He has his uh, his go-go gadget skates here. Done in silver, black, with the wheels done in red. And these wheels roll very, very smoothly. And these just plug into the bottoms of his feet, like so. They actually do like snap into place here. There. And these are very, these roll so smooth. Like that's, I'm not gonna actually get on the roll standing out, but like, that thing rolls like a dream. That it handles very well. <laughs> so you get some very, very smooth rolling roller skates. I'm just making them hurt himself. Let me stop doing that. <laughs> I've been trying to actually get him to roll, but it's just, it's not happening. It's not happening. But there you go. He has his, his go, go gadget skates while he's talking on the phone. That's probably not a smart idea. That's probably dangerous, but hey, you know, it's a gadget. It's kind of what he does. He also has pieces for extending his limbs. That's right. He can he can do that also. He can do all of that. So we have, I should take the skates off. This is just gonna be bad. Uh, okay, let's just take these skates off. Uh, like I said, they hold on very securely. They're like snapped in. The feet are meant to come off. I didn't break it. The feet are supposed to come off. Come on. Uh, come on. Again, very securely, like I said. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. It's this front post. This front post is the one that actually snaps in and it's oh, very tight. There we go. This would be a lot easier if we, uh, we can actually keep him standing. There we go. Okay. Put the skates off to the side. Those are a hazard. Those are just a hazard. So, again, we have the ability to extend his limbs. So you get a pair of uh, short extensions and a pair of longer extensions for his hands. And these just work. If you have the same way the hands do, you just move the hands, then you just plug these on, and you can plug any of the hands on the ends of these, so we'll put a short one on that arm, we'll put a longer one on this arm, and we'll, uh, there we go, we'll put the pointing hand, ah, sorry gadget, put the pointing hand in this one, there you go, now we can really, now we can really point at people, so you can have that going on, <laughs> if you want to, hey, again, all things you can do, if you want to do it, but that's not all we can do. No, 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 no. We can also uh, extend his neck. So you have you have two neck extension pieces. I guess if you happen to break the pegs or whatever, you have an extra one, which is nice. But basically, we need to uh, we need to rip his head off. And then we also have to remove his neck. So pull his neck out entirely, and it's all just pegs. And then you plug the one end up in here. On the other end, down into his body, and there you go. Now he's extended. <laughs> and these do have a bit of posability, not a lot. You can see you can kind of get them in a pose, but they're not they're not like totally flexible. You can get a little bit of a bend out of them. But I wouldn't go too far because you don't want to risk, you know, damaging anything, but you can get a little bit, just you know, get a little bend here and there. A little bit of an arc, but nothing too extreme. But you know, hey, you can do that again. All things you can do if you want to do it. He's looking crazy, but hey, we can keep going because we also get his uh, some leg extensions also. So we can extend his legs. So do this. We need to pop off his feet. And this will just plug into the one end. And just plug the foot on. And these posts are a specific shape, so you want to make sure you have everything lined up right. And you just plug that in. And plug that in. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. And these are on actual springs too, which is hilarious. They don't work too well. You can see like the like the rod. You can see how this works here. But the rod, oh, pff, he just he he shot he shot his foot at me. He shot his foot at me. Gadget, why would you do that, gadget? How dare you, gadget? 
I'll get you, Gadget. Don't, don't make me, don't make me. But anyway, yeah, he actually does have some springy legs. There you go, we have Gadget as extended as he can get. <laughs> ah, I love it, I love it. I personally love that. And of course you can have him holding his other accessories, you know, you can give him the, uh, give him the magnifying glass, he holds that nice and secure, or you can give him his, uh, his badge, and that's what this hand is for, this hand works best for holding the badge, you can do that, um, you can use this hand for the flashlight, you can totally do that if you want to, but me personally, I like using this hand for the flashlight, because... You can have him holding it in a way you can see like his thumb is like right over the uh, right over the button there and it just kind of looks you know he's actually like you know pointing the flashlight so hey again all things you can do if you want to do it but wait there's more we're not done yet there's more gadgets we can give him he has his go go gadget umbrella he has a gadget umbrella <laughs> and this rod here is a metal rod which is nice it's a nice red plastic you even got some Silver in there, a little bit of black. And the plastic they used for this is actually very nice. It's like a sturdy plastic. You see there's a little bit of flex there, but this is actually a very sturdy plastic. And the plastic's not, not thick as you can see, but it's it feels good. It feels like a really sturdy plastic they used for this. So it doesn't feel fragile at all. But you know, again, you just pop this off and you can just feed this do his hand like so, and then just plug this back in. There you go, you can have him holding his Go Go Gadget umbrella. Hey, all things you can do, again, if you want to do it. There's a lot of things you can do here if you want to do it, basically. But we're not done yet, no, no, we're not done. We also get some more gadgets, that's right, some more gadgets. And this involves uh, removing the, uh, the top of his hat here. So if we remove the top of his hat, we can replace it with this top of the hat. <laughs> you can see it has those little extra arms. You know what? Let me let me let me decapitate them for a second just to show this. There we go. <laughs> but just to show you how this works. And these, oops, and these arms do just they just plug right into those ports in there. And you can position these how you want. So you can see you have multiple hinges here. You have a hinge there, hinge there, and a hinge there. You can pretty much position these how you wish. That's all the way down. There we go. You see the little lid flipped open. That's adorable. And you can plug any of the hands on this. You can have that holding the magnifying glass. Uh, you could, uh, there you go. You can have that with his with his phone if you want to. So there you go. You can have that going on. <laughs> plug this back onto his body here. And give him his head back. There you go. This, again, more things, more things you can do as if there wasn't already enough, but hey, more things. But wait, there's more, we're not done yet. No, we get one more hat piece and it's really the most important one as far as I'm concerned anyway, we have the GoGo Gadget Copter. That's right. See, done in silver, blades done in red, and again, these rods are metal, and these handles are done in red plastic. And you just pop this onto his noggin, like so. Um, the, the blades don't spin freely, they're just, they, they just peg in their separate piece. They don't spin freely, but you get that going, and then you just bring his hands up, and get him to, uh, hold the handles like so <laughs> I love this was always my favorite gadget personally was the gadget copter there you go you've got his gadget copter <laughs> oh, I love it I love it so there you have that and last but not least there's one more thing to talk about and that is the included uh, display base you can see it's just a piece of sidewalk there, brown and gray, and a bunch of uh, ports there, as you can see. And you get a little transclearing arm here, which has multiple hinges for you to work with. 
You can plug these into any of these ports. But you also get two of these uh, connector pieces. What these are for is you plug these onto these posts right here. And this way you can connect multiple bases like so. So you can just have a nice long uh, piece of sidewalk going on there if you want to. But if you don't want to use these, you do have a little storage spot for them. You can just plug them right there. And they have a little spot to store, which I quite like. And you also get these posts right here. You get a longer one and a shorter one. On the longer one, uh, you just feed in through here. You see there are little slots there for the... Uh, these little support pieces that just pushes up and this is the peg that you use on his foot to keep him on the base and keep him nice and stable now this shorter one i honestly don't know what the point of this one is because it only sticks up like it, it sticks up just minimally like 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 that <laughs> if you can see like maybe like that much of it actually sticks out of the top and that's not enough to provide any real grip. This one, as you can see, holds on fine, but if I use this one, like, it'll fall right off. So I really don't know what this shorter one, I, I don't know what the purpose of the shorter one is, but the longer one, definitely, you can see, holds them on the base, nice and secure-like. But if you don't want to use that, you can see it pulls his foot off. That's how secure it is, it pulls his foot right off. But you can just push that out, give him his foot back. You hold on to your feet, gadgets. You hold on to your feet. But if you want to use the uh, the arm here, again, you just plug it into any of these ports. Just plugs right in. And you want to use uh, this piece. You can see it's just like a double peg. And it just plugs in right there. And if you want to get some uh, flying poses, it's a little awkward, but it's 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 how this works. You plug this um, right into his uh, you plug it into his butt right there. <laughs> yep, go go gadget. But you just plug that up in there. <laughs> if the hinges aren't tight enough, aren't strong enough, there are little there are screws there you can tighten. But there you go. You can get uh you get everything balanced, and you get those screws tightened. Properly, there you go. You can get some flying poses out of Gadget there with his Gadget Copter, and that's pretty cool. And that's it! That's everything you get, so there you go! So there you have Inspector Gadget, and uh, yeah, I love this figure. Absolutely love it. Uh, like I said earlier, this is definitely the best figure of this set. This is the one that shines, and shines the brightest, and for obvious reasons. I mean, this figure has so much play value, tons of accessories, just so much you can do with it. Just There's so much play value here, and I absolutely love it, just um, quality-wise. Um, very, very good quality wise. Um, all everything feels solid, sturdy. You know, everything is very well done. The sculpt is on point. The paintwork is on point, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I really have nothing to complain about with this figure. Really don't. Um, all of it is just really cool. You just get so many display options, and just overall a lot of fun here. A very, very fun figure in my opinion. So. There you go! So you can get this directly from Blitzway if you would like this set or any of these individual figures. You can also get these from BigBadToyStore.com, as always linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Inspector Gadget playlist for this and all future reviews, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Blitzway 5 Pro Studio Inspector Gadget. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Home in your face. I seem to have stumbled into the wrong neighborhood. Hey, ah, wait, you're, you're not Chief Quimby. No. If I knew who he was, I would probably kill him. I have a case for you, though. 
Oh, the case? Yeah. Somebody stole my burritos, and I need you to find them and make them pay. Burritos? Oh, seems like a weird case, but I'm willing to take on the challenge. No, oh, that's, that's very nice of you. Usually people talk to me like I have some kind of screw loose. I can help you with that. Uh, you might need it more than I do.